Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. Welcome to part two of my declutter series. This is my Penguin Modern Classics. I need to get rid of some of these. I've also got a couple of Virago Modern Classics that I'm going to talk about as well. Let's go. So, first up I have L.P. Hartley, The Go Between. I'm going to keep this because I, um, a couple of years ago there was a, was it a series or just like a, a, a feature film on TV or something which was The Go Between. I was like, oh I really enjoyed that. I'm sure I've got the book. Yes I do, but I haven't read it. So yeah, going to keep this one, definitely. So next I have Vladimir Nabokov's Lolita. Right, I picked this up because um, people have said, yes, the subject matter isn't great, but the writing is spectacular. And I have tried to read it, like the first two sentences, I just can't get past. It's like, ooh. Lolita, light of my life, fire my loins, my sin, my soul. And the blurb is just, mm. Poet and pervert Humbert Humbert becomes obsessed by 12 year old Lolita and seeks to possess her, first carnally and then artistically, out of love. I think it's one of these books that if you can push past the subject matter, yes it's brilliant, but I can't, so this is going to go. Bye bye book. <laughs> Next I have Molesworth by Geoffrey Willens and Ro Roland Seal. I don't know. This is a book that I tried to read not so long ago actually and it's got some lovely images in. However, this book isn't for me. It's about um, boys at school so I'm not the target audience and yeah, no. I tried reading it. I didn't get, I didn't do it very well with it. That can go. The rest of my Penguin Modern Classics are all in the white spine ones. Uh, starting with John Updike's Couples. Hmm. I need your help with this one. So Couples is a book that I've heard is one that I should like um, but I'm unsure. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it on my shelves and if I don't read it by the end of the year I'm going to get rid of it. But I've heard it's meant to be really good and that I should like it, that it's my sort of book. If you've read it please let me know in the comments if it's any good. But yeah. I'm gonna make a deal myself. Please make me hold on to this deal. <laughs> Next I have Jack Kerouac's Maggie Cassidy. This can go, I think. Um, I got rid of On the Road. Is it On the Road? Something like that. Um, also by him because it wasn't one that I was gonna read and I think this is the one that if I was gonna read one of his I would read but no, I don't have any inclination to pick it up. That can go. Okay, three down, we're doing good. So next I have, oh, how do you pronounce this? Bonjour Tristesse and a Certain Smile by an author who I'm not gonna try and pronounce. Um, okay, this I picked up because it said, the author's name, can't pronounce it, it's the French F. Scott Fitzgerald. And I like F. Scott Fitzgerald. Well, I've read The Great Gatsby. I like The Great Gatsby, um, so that's why I picked it up. I think I'm going to do the same with this as I do with this one. So if they're still both on my shelves by the end of the year, they're both going. But I am going to try and read them. Try. Then I have A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. This can go. This is one I picked up super cheap from a charity shop. Actually, I think I picked up all of these super cheap at a charity shop. Um, yeah, I have no desire to pick this up whatsoever. And even though it does say on the back, a quote from The Observer, one of the greatest American plays, I just, I just don't wanna read it, so that can go. One that is definitely not going, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote. Um, I have read this, I really enjoyed it. It's just over 100 pages, it's, it's quite short and it's great. And it makes me wanna to go to New York and stand in front of Tiffany's eating breakfast in a lovely long dress. Go shopping. Um, I love this book. This is definitely due a reread actually. Reread this this year, plan. Right, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Under the Jaguar Sun by Italo Calvino. I picked this up because it was really short but that can go. 
I've never wanted to pick it up, never tried to pick it up, that can go. This one is staying, this is All Souls by Javier Maria, I don't know. I picked this up at Waterstones because I wanted to read it because uh, it's set in an Oxford college and it's that sort of academic sphere which I really enjoy, definitely keeping, although definitely need to hurry up and read. And finally, for my Penguin Modern Classics, another one that I've read. This is Good Morning Midnight by Jean Rees. I think she wrote Wild Cigar So See, I think. Um, I've read it, I enjoyed it. Again, it's due reread. It's about um, a woman in 1930s Paris and how she kind of like mumbles along and things. And yeah, cheap hotels to another cheap hotel, one drink to another. It's good, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, this and Breakfast at Tiffany's do a reread. So now onto a couple of Rago modern classics. I'm gonna get rid of two of Winifred, Winifred Holtby books, can't get my words out today. I've got The Land of Green Ginger and South Riding to get rid of. I got these two and another one, And to Be Wold. And to Be Wold, I read. I gave it, I can't remember what I gave it, two stars, three stars. It wasn't, you know, completely high. And I mean, I do keep some three star books because I think, oh, I still will reread that, despite the fact that I didn't think it was amazing. I will reread it. With this one, I found the writing quite boring. And even the thought of having to read another one of hers, I'm just like, no. It just sort of bores me. And let's be honest, South Riding, which is probably her most famous, is quite big. Um, and I would rather, I know my reading tastes quite well now, I would rather go and reread like a Barb Pym or something, then read these books for the first time. So both of these are gonna go because writing style just isn't for me. So doing some quick math, I'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm getting rid of seven. I'm definitely keeping four, which are Good Morning Midnight by Jim Reese, um, All Souls by, I don't know how you pronounce that, um, Breakfast at Tiffany's by Trim Capote and L.P. Hartley's The Go-Between. So those, definitely keeping. Maybe, please make sure I switch to this, guys. Um, maybe these books. They're going back on my shelves and I'm going to attempt to read them. But we'll see. So if you're wondering where these books are going to go, they are going to go to my local hospice charity shop. So hopefully someone can get a better use out of them than I can. Hopefully someone will really enjoy them. So that's it for this video. Let's have a conversation in the comments section. Do you think I made the right choices? Am I gonna read couples ever or learn how to pronounce any of these authors' names? <laughs> so that's it for this video. Take care and I shall see you soon. Bye.